Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome for our new. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a hiccup. So I know you guys did not get my battery is dying. Y'all didn't get a weekly vlog last Sunday. <sighs> Let me go change my battery and get these hiccups to go away and I'll be right back. Okay, battery is full. Hiccups are gone. Maybe. Couple of updates. They're not gone. We're gonna work with them. These, y'all need these. Y'all freaking need these. These lasted on me for six days. That is unheard of. Like literally unheard of. And the one that came off was one of these on this eye. And this was the one that didn't have the extra falscara glue. I will forever be repurchasing these over and over and not this one, not the, not the starter pack. Cause I already have these now. I will continue to repurchase the refill of these wispies. These are so good. They're so comfortable and they're way less expensive, way cheaper basically than going and getting them done every couple of weeks, which I don't even, I don't even want to think about having to do that because I, no, um, I can't sit there. <laughs> My anxiety gets the best of me. Like I'm not even going to lie. Um, anyways, that's not what I have on my lashes right now though. I showed y'all this in, not last week's, but the, the last vlog that I, sh that I uploaded. Um, I had gotten these because it was like a TikTok, TikTok shop thing. And I have to say those lashes look so much better on that girl than they do on me. Um, I'm very picky with my lashes though. Like I don't want them too long. I don't want them too short. I don't want them too thick. I like them to look natural. I like them to look good when I'm not wearing makeup, but I also like them to look good when I am wearing makeup. And these, while they look good as I'm like put together and wearing makeup, I don't think that they're going to look that good. They don't look that great when I'm not wearing makeup. So I don't know that I really recommend these as much, but we are going to still test these out and see how long they last. One thing I will say is that I do like the bond and seal from this company. And again, this is just first impression. I don't know how long they're actually going to last, but this is what their bond looks like. And I love that curved brush right there. I absolutely love that. And then here is their seal. And I really like this too. It has that little ball on the end. Super cool. Love that. So that is the bond and seal. The, the brand is called Eyeshine Cosmetic. And I, I love it. I love the way that it's shaped. And like I said, so far, just first impression, just applying it, I really liked it. I liked the clear bond. And I also like the fact that the wand is a little curved i really like that so my son just <laughs> he came in here so i was telling you i shine cosmetics i will link this down below you can get it from amazon you can also get these from amazon as well this little pack is the 12 to 16 millimeter i am never going to use these 16 millimeter ones they're too long for me so i think if i were to ever do these again i would probably do like the 14 as the longest so maybe 14 to 10 if they had one like that um but honestly these these ones are actually even easier to apply now i will say these eye shine ones again they're very 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 comfortable but they were a lot more difficult to apply like they're a lot like uh thinner and the band was really it was just really hard like it wasn't hard but it was a lot more difficult to apply these than it was to apply these. Like they weren't sticking properly and I had to like take extra time. So yeah, I really, I really am a big, 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 big fan of these. If you haven't been able to tell, if you weren't able to tell from my last week's vlog, love, absolutely love. So this week we will be testing out these eyeshine cosmetics. I did the same thing as I did last time. I washed my eyelashes before I applied these with Johnson's baby shampoo, which I will link down below. Um, and I'm just going to keep oils away from my face as much as possible. Like when I go to wash my makeup off, I'll be very delicate and, you know, use a Q-tip and just basically try my very best to not get any oils or water around my lashes. So that is that. I'm going to put this back together. And then I have a press-on nail haul for you guys 
from Shein. And uh, today is Ava's birthday, right? So I was actually getting stuff for her and I was like, hmm, let me look at their press on nails. Let's go ahead and do it. And girl, when I went to take these out of the bag, because, you know, I had to separate my stuff from, from Ava's presents and whatnot. Tell me why I had this many. Like, what? <laughs> Just, I kept pulling them out and kept pulling them out. I said, I had no idea that I ordered this much, but let's just get into it. So this one right here, again, I do not know why I ordered so many of these, but I did. I did. And y'all are going to laugh at me with this one thing that I'm going to show you. Actually, it's like two of them. But anyways, I bought not one, not two, not three, not four, but five, five of these same. And they're the ones that I'm wearing right now. I really like them because they're very, very, very neutral. Do you guys see how good these look? They, they're they just like, ugh, they're so good. And then I was like, why did I get these? Because these are like basically the same, only they have this little floral design on them. So I don't know. I feel like they looked cuter in the in the pictures, but girl, I'm still going to wear them. They're, they're still fine. I just don't know why I got two. Um, I got a pair of white press-on nails. Uh, I got a pair of black mattes and then also the black shiny because, you know, fall is coming up. Uh, I got some of these, which are very pretty, kind of like, uh, I don't know what you call it, like Merlot, Vampy Red, however you want to call it. But then it just has the silver glitter all around it, which I already know that glitter is going to get everywhere. Um, here's like an ombre black to Vampy Red kind of nail. Um, and then also another Halloween nail, which, yeah, these are cute. I like these. So you got little spiders and then the red and then these black ones, black and red with the Vampy Red. So love those. And then I got these, but these were supposed to be short and these bitches are not short. These are long. So mm, I love them. They're so pretty, but I just don't, I wish I knew how to file nails, you know? Um, but yeah, these are, these are another one. I will try to link these all down below in the description box for you guys. Don't laugh. I saw them. You, you might not even be able to tell. They're Christmas nails. <laughs> well, I should say winter nails. They're not specifically Christmas nails. They're more winter with the little snowflakes. But again, these are too freaking long. They're too long. So, um, I had to. I had to. I'm just... I'm so excited for it. So yeah, my first official pair of Christmas nails. Um, that is my Shein press on nail haul. But yeah, we're gonna go have a fun filled day with my baby girl today. I'll vlog um, here and there, but not a whole ton because it's her birthday. My baby is officially 14. Girl, you got some hair. <laughs> my goodness. Is it hard to tame? <laughs> I can imagine. Well, I made him. <laughs> I bet. It's beautiful, though. Thank you. It's awesome. Right. You want to make sure you like where those are? It's always golden and wonderful. Yeah. Mm. 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 Less yeah. leaking. Can you uh, pull your hair out of the way? I can't see anything. <laughs> there we go. It's pretty. 
Okay, Ava, tell us all about what you just did. I got my ears pierced. <laughs> and how was it? It was good. I was definitely... I don't know. I don't like the idea of a needle in the ear. I would much rather just go to Claire's and get mine done. As a matter of fact, I used to have my friend just like take the earring and just uh, right in my ear. No. No. <laughs> it really, it really didn't hurt at all because it was like it just it didn't hurt. No. How many times that did that result like, in infections? Yeah. None, really actually. Insane. Really? Yeah. Like I literally, that's how I got all of these. I have like literally every single. Four hundred feet, turn right. I'm like every single earring, every single or there's a bunch of earrings that I have all the way up on both sides, and ninety percent of them were done from my friend doing it that way. Hmm. But, um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm like, mm, I don't know when it comes to the needle. So I couldn't really watch it, but you guys saw the footage, thanks to William, because he recorded. Um, and then, yeah. Ava, how's your birthday going so far? So good. So good? Yep. So we went to, okay, I'm going to try to try to remember all the things we've done so far. We went to Dunkin' Donuts because she wanted the ice spice coffee what would you rate that Ava was it good they control and Ava both got it it was good but once you get to the bottom it's kind of just like stale. soggy donuts yeah <laughs> soggy soggy donuts yeah okay uh, for a second there I thought you said sucky donuts um so then after that we went to Krispy Kreme because she wants donuts instead of cake for tonight um and then we went to the mall because she wanted oh where's your little monkey she wanted a build-a-bear and so here is Stink. Everyone welcome Stink to the family. He's so cute. And she. she. Oh, is it she? Oh, is it he? Oh. Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> no gender yet? Nope. Um, so, uh, Five Below. What did you get Five Below? Like a little Luigi car? Luigi. Luigi. It was like a little tiny Luigi figure and then... And then what? Oh yeah, she got weights. We haven't been going to the gym at the apartment complex and I'm actually going to join the Y because the lady that came to buy my furniture, actually, I don't think I told you guys. I like reached out to her and like, um, it was like this whole thing. We saw each other at school. It was like this whole thing. But anyways, um, she works out at the Y and I was like, I think I'm going to come start going with her. So, um, yeah, I haven't been going down to the, to the gym. Um, so she got weights, and then after that we did what? Trader Joe's. That was for me. Um, and I'm going to show y'all what I got when we get back to the house. I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. And then we just went and got her ears pierced. So we're headed home, and then she's got more freaking presents to unwrap. Oh, I thought she said I didn't have any more presents. Well, you have one. You saw the one that's sitting out in the bedroom, and then that's it. And then um, we're going to go eat Chinese tonight. So that's everything. Plus, you, I don't know if you guys can notice that the Nissan's like beige, right? On Silver? The inside. Oh, the inside's gray. Yeah, gray. So like, would they, be, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to tell. Well, you can be, I don't know if you can tell, but William got a new car. So we are in his new car. Because I haven't seen y'all in a really long time. And the last time they saw you <coughs> were like not with the cooking but like in a vlog was when you did that 
Fabletics unboxing. Mm. But that was the only time you were in that video, so. But yeah, that's how the day is going so far. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're like, well, you can see half of them. Half. That's more than enough. That's more than enough? Yeah. Um. I would say something, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to head back to the house. Uh, I am going to actually uh, eat like a protein bar because I'm actually getting hungry right now. But we will see you guys at the house, and I'm going to show you what I got at Trader Joe's. Because you guys need to go to your nearest Trader Joe's and get what I'm about to show you because delish so incredibly delish so i will see you guys then so first we got to show you all the donuts oh so ava hold on did they yeah oh well oh uh ava wanted donuts instead of cake so we just got a bunch of donuts and then uh the bottom ones are just glazed because i had a coupon it was like buy a dozen get a dozen of glaze for free so that's that. Let me show you what I got from Trader Joe's. I actually bought these for Ava, and I want to try them on camera. They are kettle cooked potato chips, but they're like 50% less, less fat and sodium. They're really good. I just, I really like kettle chips. You feel you love kettle chips? I love potato chips, period. It's much better. But it has 130 calories. You know how to go to the bathroom with that? Yeah. Mm. I, I have been holding it since the mall, but I definitely was like at the tattoo parlor. I'm like, and then I was going to ask you like, how close are you? And I'm like, we're not that far from the house. So <laughs> what? Why are you looking like that? You bought that for her? Oh, that was so sweet. <laughs> I, I knew Aww. that's the only gift that I know about. <laughs> Thank you. So now stinky. You little sneaky. You can have other <laughs> Let me see. That's so cute. Okay, so Ava wanted these overalls for her little bear. They do. They're literally matching because Ava's wearing overalls right now. That's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> and he was sneaky about it because she just found it in, in uh, uh, her five below bag. Do you want to put it on? Yeah. I'm scared his tail is good. That's so sweet. These potato chips are good. So 130 calories, five grams of fat. Um, so as far as calories, it's only like 30, 30 less calories, uh, five less grams of fat. Carbs are gonna be the same. But let me show you the star of the show and what I got from Trader Joe's. Okay. Oh, hold on, I need to readjust the counter over here some things down, reorganize. Oh my god, he's so cute. You stink. We should have named Bella's. <laughs> we should. Oh, how cute. Okay, I'm totally stealing this from you. I didn't say that out loud. Huh? Nothing, I didn't say anything. What did she say? She said she said it's so on camera, <laughs> oh my gosh and they're twinning right now they're twinsies um okay so trader joe's this i'm telling y'all if you have a trader joe's near you go get this pasta it's the best pasta you'll ever have um it does have like dehydrated butternut squash and then paprika for color this stuff is so good so i bought one two three four bags of these okay i thought i bought five of them but one two three i bought six of the pasta sauces i bought six of these so these are seasonal the lady said december i know for a fact that is not correct because i remember i discovered this while i was doing weight watchers last year and it was around this time because Weight Watchers is right by that Trader Joe's. So I was like, oh my gosh, let me go in there. And that's how I found it. I was like, let me go ahead and pick it up. And then we tried it and Cottrell and me were like, oh my gosh. I don't think Ava was like really like, oh my gosh, this is best. But like me and him were like, oh my gosh. So the next time I went to go get it, I feel like it was already gone. And I was trying to ask the cashier 
she says she thought like they would be out until December. I was like, I don't think so. Anyways, this is the Audemol Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce. And it's made with pumpkin and butternut squash. And it is so freaking delicious. Um, it is a little higher in calories and fat than normal. But not by much. And it's totally worth it. Totally freaking worth it. And there's, like I said, I bought six of them. So uh, I'm going to put that in the pantry and probably go back maybe in October and get some more. So I can, I'm hoping to have... Oh, let me show them that. I'm hoping to have enough, like, to carry me throughout the year, maybe. I uh, have it once a month or something. But uh, this also is what Ava got, because she loves Luigi. Are you having the best birthday ever? They used to do this thing where they'd be like, oh my gosh, best birthday ever! And they don't do that anymore. My little 17-year-old over here. Y'all, he's going to be an adult in six months, less than six months. It's 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 like six months minus a day. You'll be you'll be 18 in control. You realize that, right? <laughs> oh my gosh! So yeah, I'm gonna go put this stuff up or leave it here or do whatever. I don't know. I gotta go actually do laundry, so I'm gonna go do that, and then we'll probably see you guys when we go. Oh oh, uh, she's gotta open up presents. So I don't I don't have anything for her anymore. It's just uh, something possibly from William. So we'll do presents in a second. I'm telling them. I'm not telling you guys. I'm telling them. Telling my friends, right? Y'all are my friends. I don't know where this one came from. I'm scared. Why are you scared? Bella. <laughs> Be careful.
Show the vlog your piercings. Look at what uh, Builder Bear gave her. Happy birthday! But this one's all bloody. So. Oh, is it? Yeah. They're so pretty. Bella, I don't want to touch bed. it, but. Back in your bed, Bella. You are Bella, such no. a child. Get down. Are they hearts? <clears throat> okay, so that is all her presents. Um, and uh, her ear. Uh, the one ear bled like really bad you guys saw that footage i don't know maybe i'll cut it out it was like bleeding really bad and i was like it was a lot huh oh yeah i could um anyways i'm gonna try to figure out a place for this trader joe stuff and then i guess we'll be going to dinner whenever whenever ava wants to go because she's the birthday girl Look at that. I'm going to use this to jump there. I have the baby one there because if you get these, I think these are actually harder to use than that. But I also am not that great with the other one, so I don't know. I don't know. Alright y'all, everyone go in the comments down below and wish Ava a happy 14th birthday. I officially have a 14 year old and a 17 year old. I low key, we just watched Juno. I don't know why, it, it, Ava wanted to watch it so we watched it. And um, there's a scene where this is a baby and I literally like, cause you know today's like her birthday obviously. So I was thinking like all day about like how 14 years ago, like this, and 14 years ago, I was like thinking this and going through this and experiencing this. I had a baby and I sometimes like, I really miss the baby days. I know some people are gonna think I'm crazy. Like, yeah, like I like my freedom where you don't have to like have the baby in the car seat because I could not wait to get out of that stage. How pretty she is, she's so pretty. But, 
I miss the baby stage. I miss the I need you stage. I mean, obviously they still need me. They'll always need me, but like, need me for everything stage. You're so pretty. Did you have the best birthday ever? Your earrings, do you love them? Yeah. Yeah. It was blood from earlier. But I know, it's still. Oh, okay. It was, that was blood from earlier. This one, I got all the blood off. Okay. It definitely yeah. hurts a lot more than when it's just like the gun because, like, the gun, it's like less. Yeah. And this one's actually the needle and it was bleeding and it hurts. And I yeah. feel like it's going to hurt for a while, like this was. Yeah. I feel, well, I feel like anytime you get a piercing, it's definitely sore for a while. I don't know what the lighting is doing right now, but anyways, that's her birthday. That is a wrap. She's got an hour and a half and she'll be like 14 for a full, you know, it won't be her birthday anymore. But I wish her a happy birthday. Um, I'm not planning on doing a dang thing tomorrow. I actually have to, I just took out um, the last load of laundry so I have to do that, um, fold that tomorrow and put it up. But I'm not doing it tonight because I'm really tired. But, yeah, I will probably see you guys on Monday. I'm supposed to be going to the Y with the girl who I sold my furniture to. And then um, I'm actually supposed to be meeting up with my subscriber friend on Monday, too. So I probably won't see you all on Monday. Uh, or maybe I will. It just all depends. I'll see you guys at some point this week. Yeah, you, you think you got the best of me, but just because I'm giving you my love for free, are things not for real? You, you're telling everyone about us, but you are not the only one I call for fun. Late night.
morning. It is Monday, as you guys saw. I did a couple of things this morning. I was supposed to meet up with the girl that bought my furniture. We're supposed to start working out together at the Y. I'm not a member of the Y, so I went up to the Y and I signed up for a membership. So I did that. Uh, my stomach was like, really, I was like really nauseous this morning. So I'm like, I'm not going to work out. But when I was looking at the list of things that the schedule, I was like, there's a dance class tonight. So I'm going to go to the dance class tonight. I also was supposed to meet up with my sister. I thought that we had already made plans, me and my subscriber friend. Like I was like, why hasn't she contacted? Let me go ahead and like make sure. Because we were supposed to go swimming. I thought we had made plans to go swimming. Apparently we didn't. So I asked her, I was like, do you want to come over? I was like, I know it's not like, it's like 60 something degrees up. Actually it's 74 right now. Um, I was like, it's kind of chilly, but you know, I know like it won't be like swimming weather, but we can like lay out, you know, and talk or whatever. She was already on her way to the park to walk. And I was like, girl, I just, I can't walk this morning. Like my stomach is, I'm so nauseous. So I just ran a couple errands. I went to Target, uh, got some mini bow tie pasta. I'm making lasagna soup tonight for dinner. And I saw this on TikTok, of course. And I was like, y'all know how I go and have gone several times to go get my eyebrows tinted? You can do it at home for way cheaper. This was 12 bucks. And if I'm not mistaken, you can continue to use this hair dye over and over, or like beard dye, whatever, over and over and over again. So we're going to do this eventually this week. But I was thinking, if, stay with me here, okay? If I do my contour with the, with the self-tanner that I've shown you guys before, where I go around my forehead here, do a little bit here, have my brows tinted, have my little lash extensions, which by the way... Was it Saturday? So they lasted Saturday night and Sunday night. So we are on day three here. My, nail, my nails did not make it, unfortunately. But I think I have figured out a way to make those Shein nails last. And I'm gonna share that with you guys. Um, if I'm correct in what I'm thinking, I'm gonna do that sometime probably today to uh, off camera, uh, my nails. But yeah, someday this week, we're gonna, we're gonna try it. I got the medium brown uh hopefully it lasts like the whole week because could you imagine like my i could just go run errands and it looks like i have makeup on because my eyebrows will be done I'm, truth be told i've actually been wearing my hat a lot but that's why too is because it covers like all of that you know but basically what i'm trying to say is with this and my lashes and my self tanner contour I'm going to look like I'm wearing makeup without even having to put on makeup. And that's going to be amazing. And that'll probably last about a good week. I've been noticing I have been really bummy lately and I don't like it. I really don't like it. So I am making it a priority to look better. Because when I look better, I feel better and all of the things. And it's cooling down now. So it's going to be, I'm not going to be sweating as much. You know what I mean? So I won't be wearing my hair up as much either. So anyways, I just made this zucchini soup. If you guys want the recipe, screenshot the very first part of it when I showed you the recipe. But it's called cream of zucchini soup. Listen to this, you guys. First of all, it's got veggies in it, okay? That's really all that's in here. Um, it's four servings in what I just made but it only has 101 calories. So this is a really great addition, especially if you have a big appetite like I do. It's delicious, but it's also something that has veggies. It's green veggies, so that's good. So it's nutritious and it's something you, what your body needs. But also on top of that, it is going to fill up your stomach because it's soup and it's filling. But it only has 101 calories, five grams of fat, seven carbs, two grams of protein, or two grams of fiber, and six grams of protein from what? Oh, I guess the chicken, okay. The chicken broth and then the tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. So yeah, what you guys saw all of what I did. And then for this bowl, I went ahead and I measured out, it said it was four servings. So I have three over here that I'm gonna put in the fridge. 
So I'll have this week, you could have it for a snack, you could have it as an accompany, like to accompany your uh, dinner or uh, lunch, however, I'm gonna do it today for lunch. So I've tried this before and I haven't had it in years, but I saw it and I was like, let me go ahead and make that. The Parmesan cheese and the drizzle of oil on top are must, so don't skip them, so bon appetit. Mm. It's so good. And again, it's going to be so filling. Mm. I don't really see what the oil does up top. But the Parmesan cheese, mm -hmm. heck yeah. Absolutely, you must put the Parmesan cheese on top. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm not sure when I'll see y'all again, but it'll either be today, tomorrow, who knows. I'll see y'all later. Y'all, I look creepy as heck, but oh my gosh, I think I found my class. <gasps> that was so good. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. And that's what I've been looking for is just a place where I can go for like an hour and just not think, let me start driving, good girl. It is, why do they not have the lights? I don't know. But it's just like a place where I can go to just not think about anything but dancing and oh that was so much fun <sighs> so much fun so there's also a class that I want to try out tomorrow and that one is called like dance and sculpt this one was called cardio fit but then she was like cardio fit mixed fit whichever and I was like oh because I've tried mixed fit before and I actually didn't like it but this one I liked and I could tell it was like a little bit of the mixed fit because there was like um like dances in the middle where it like slowed down and you worked either your arms or your legs so it was really 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 good though am I supposed to be going this way yeah because there's an arrow anyways I don't know how I feel about the fact that it's like eight o'clock and I'm gonna be not I'm not gonna be able to sleep now because whenever I work out at night I'm always like super hyped um but yeah that was a really 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 good class and I'm just so happy that I think I found my dance class. Okay, so I went to my mailbox and I have some goodies from Viltbar that I want to open with you guys. So, they've got some new flavors coming out, you guys. This right here is dun, 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 dun. Oh, the Built Bar Fruity Cereal. You'll probably like this one, Control, because you like the Built Bars. I don't really like the Built Bars as much, but I still want to try this one. <gasps> fruity Cereal. Let's try it. Let's try it. Hold on. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Built Bars? Donuts. No, I don't have any left. Not even the Hercules. Yeah, you can have glaze. This tastes like a built puff. This is really good. Can I try it? Mm hmm What is it? I thought that it was going to have like, maybe like some like uh, fruity pebbles or something in there. But you can definitely tell. It tastes fruity. You, do you taste it? Do you like it? I'm like, I don't want to eat all of that because I've got... I got a big old box. I'm like, what? Bill Bar, y'all love me. By the way, uh, you can use my code MGE10 for Bill Bars. Uh, my nose is running. I need to get in the shower. Like, I cannot wait to get in the shower. I'm not, you're not supposed to do this because you're not supposed to like put it towards you. But oh my gosh, why is that so hard to open? Anyways, um, MGE10 saves you 10% on Bill Bars. And my favorite are the Built Puffs. And y'all, let me tell you, 17 grams of protein. You cannot beat that. It's on the go, 150 calories. So this one came all nice and, girl, this, this, this ice is melted. But it did come nice and uh, packaged for the heat. 
me see. What is this? Is this? They had already sent me these. These are freaking amazing. These top five. I can't tell you if this one is like beating the number one. Like if this is now number one and it beat out the mud pie puff. Because that one is so good. But this one is so freaking delicious. It is the cookies and cream chunk. And it's a puff. And there's like chunks of cookies in there. How many did they send me? Yes! Yes! Thank you, Built Bar. We are excited for you to taste our new cookies and cream chunk puff. Please share your thoughts, tag us, and use. Oh, these are freaking delicious. It says all the fun at 25 times the protein. So again, you have 160 calories, 15 grams of protein. So these ones have 15. They all vary. Um, most of them have 17, like this one has 17. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this one and I'm gonna show you the chunk. So like I said, this one's a puff and the puffs are like a marshmallowy texture. So here are the little chunks. And oh my gosh, like, do y'all see that? Do y'all see the chunk? It's so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm so glad. Sorry. I'm so glad I didn't eat a protein bar yet because I had one in my bag to eat after my workout. But I was there. I saw that a packet had been delivered and I was like, that's probably my built bars. But um, these are so freaking good. Like, look at that texture. Mmm. And a little chunk. I'm telling y'all, if you have not tried Bilt Bars, you seriously need to. If you have a sweet tooth and you're trying to lose weight, the holidays are coming up, this is going to help you stay on track. It has helped me so many times over. Oh, that's so good. And I just love the fact, again, they're like a great snack. They're a great breakfast. They're a great after the gym. 160 calories, 15 grams of protein. I am so hot. That is so, it's so good. So I will link this down below. Today is the 24th that you guys are watching this. I don't think that these come out until the 27th. And when I tell you, you need to run, you need to run. Like, Oh, so good. It's so good. So good. Um, anyways, that is going to do it for today. God, that's good. I'm like, let me see, because I have this one. Did I finish that one the other day? Because they had already sent me one of these. So, yeah, I have a total of, oh, I didn't finish the whole one. I thought I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have eight of them. Yes. Eight more in addition to this one. Okay. I love you guys. I will see y'all. If not tomorrow, then I'm going to see y'all on Wednesday. Hey, it is Tuesday. I wasn't planning on seeing y'all today, but... What is that? That's water. Um, but I got... Another package from Bill Bar. Now these came out today. I already looked in the, in the mail. I already looked, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, these came out today. So these should be available when you guys see them. If you're interested in more of a rocky road, then you are, what was the one I, the cookies, the, but get the cookie dough chunk or cook, get the cookies and cream chunk too. Cause that one's so good. But I want to try this. So this one is supposed to be, I don't know, like almonds, marshmallow, chocolate. It's supposed to be graham cracker too. I don't know, but I'm really hungry, and I want to try. It. Ugh, I want to try it with you guys on camera. Mmm. Mm, what it looks like? 
those chunks. Mmm. Ooh. I just tasted an almond. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mmm. There's an almond chunk right there, too. You see it? I'm going to my air, too. Bless you, Bella. Yo, I'm so tired. I'm going to go to this dance class tonight. It's dance and sculpt. Oh, I'm telling you. Mmm. Oh, God, it's so good. That was another almond. Oh, there's no one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't forget, MGE10 saves you 10% off of Built Bars on BuiltBar.com. I'm going to go. I got to cook dinner. And then I'm going to head on over to this dance class. Fingers crossed again that it's what I'm looking for. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we tint these eyebrows of mine. And hopefully they come out really good. Hey, y'all. It is not good lighting in here at all my hair is gray because of dry shampoo i just got out of the shower and that class sucked <laughs> i hate to say it like that but it was it was not what i was looking for it was a straight up zumba class and it was not fun so yeah that was kind of a bust at least i know now and I will know to never go on Tuesday night again because I kept looking at my watch. Like I was like, oh my gosh, is this going to end? Is this going to end? Oh my gosh. Should I walk out? Should I leave? And then I was already feeling like really tired and not that great anyways. But I stayed. I stayed the whole hour. I got my workout in. And you know what I was thinking? If you guys are following me on my uh, TikTok, then you know that I stopped doing 75 Soft. But what's funny is yesterday I got in like over 10,000 steps. Today I have in like over 11,000 steps. But what I was thinking as I was filling up my water bottle was I'm still drinking my three things of water. And it's not because I'm doing a challenge. It's because I want to be healthy. And I'm still exercising. And it feels so good to be able to exercise and not feel like, oh, I need to go ahead and get this over with because I don't want to be at the end of the day like, oh, I don't want to do this and dreading it. Um, so it feels good to just go work out because I want to be healthy and I know it's good for my mental health. Not because I'm doing a challenge and if I don't, then I'm going to have to start over from day, at day one. You know what I mean? Um, I'm eating healthy not because of a challenge. I'm eating healthy because I want to lose weight and I want to be healthy and I want to feel good. So... I haven't been reading, but I am going to get back into reading again. I just haven't really found time this week. But it, it feels really good to not feel so. And I think the reason why I'm, I started feeling that way was because I have been doing a challenge for pretty much most of this year um, with breaks, very, very, very small breaks in between here and there. Um, and I just kind of got to thinking like, Jill, you need to try to function without doing a challenge. You need to try to like, I really have built these really great habits and I can, tr you can trust yourself now. You can trust yourself that you are not going to let yourself go. You can trust yourself that you're going to drink your water without being on a challenge. You can trust yourself that you're going to work out without being on a challenge. You can trust yourself that you're not going to, you know, gain weight because you're not on a challenge or that you're not going to go not work out because you're, you're on a challenge or you're doing a challenge. Like, you have built these habits, trust yourself enough to put the, put the challenges aside and just live life. Live a life that is leading you to live your best life possible and to continue with the weight loss and all of that stuff. So yeah, no longer doing 75 soft and it literally feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder. It feels really, really, really good to still be keeping up with like all of the things, but I'm sitting here like, oh, I don't have to like check these things off of a list. I don't have to feel pressured to have to do these. Like I want to do these things. And that is so much growth for me. Like, oh my gosh, like people can say what they want and be so nasty and they are, they're so nasty and so mean some people. But at the end of the day, I have grown so much. And on top of that, 
I have still lost a considerable, considerable amount of weight. Um, you know, it might not be a huge amount in like social media world, but losing like 30 plus pounds and keeping that off for over a year, that's something that I cannot say that I have done in a really long time. I'm just really freaking proud of myself. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to also update you on my lashes. Um, this morning, two of them on the outside did come off. So these lasted like two nights. They did not make it through the third night. I just popped them on real quick this morning. And I also will say that these are not as comfortable as the press on lashes. So 100% without a doubt, I am stocking, not stocking up, but I'm going to get a refill pack of the uh, press on lashes in the, just fell, uh, in the, which ones are these? Natural and wispy. So I'm probably gonna go to Target tomorrow and see if I can find them and probably go ahead and take these off and put on a new pair because they are so uncomfortable and I'm like they're itchy and I just ugh, not my fave so yeah I wanted to update you guys on that um no longer doing 75 soft now looking to just sustain and do a, a healthy lifestyle however that looks each day because each day is going to be different I think that's the most important thing like again I have like 11,000 steps in today and I'm not even done um, so I still have some things I got to do, but the thing is, is I'm not like forcing myself to like work extra or get in these extra things or do these extra things because I have to, because I'm on a challenge. I'm doing them because I want to. And that, that feeling is so freeing. It's like, it's like when you're in, you know, in a relationship, like you don't need a man like, I don't need a man. I want a man. And to finally get to that place, especially after everything that I've been through. And, oh my gosh, like, that is huge for me. That is so huge. So I really have come so far. And I'm just saying this to inspire you, but also to, you know, if you're feeling a little down, like you feel like maybe you haven't gone gone, gone far, like maybe it's your weight loss lost progress or maybe it's your healing process or healing takes a really 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 long time I was with my husband for 15 plus years and I swear that I was never gonna get over that man and people were trying to put me on a timeline like you're still not over him you're still crying over him da, da, da. and it's like yes I love that man I love him and I can now say that I don't love him like that and I never ever ever thought that I would get here but I don't miss him. I don't love him. I don't want him. Um, I haven't seen him in like over two years. If I did see him, I wouldn't be like, oh, you know? So like it comes, you know, you just need to give yourself time. It's just like, um, I have a lot of anger towards certain things in my life and things that have happened and things that are happening. And I was telling my therapist that last, last week. And I said, I know I shouldn't still be angry. And she says, says who? And I was like, well, I mean, you know, it's it's been a while. And she's like, and what, why are you trying to put a timeline on, on your healing? And why are you trying to put a timeline on your valid feelings? It's very valid for you to be angry. You have every right to be angry. And it was like, oh, I guess I do. But I feel like we're always pressuring ourselves to be faster, do things faster. Everything has to be fast paced. It, it, get through this because I don't want to be doing this anymore. But it will come, it will come, I promise you. If there's anything that I have learned in these however many years of being single and separated and divorced and all that is, you know, do the work on yourself, which is the absolute hardest part and things will just fall into place. They really, really, really will. I don't know how long I've been talking. I know this is probably like an over an hour long video, but I felt like this was important because it was on my heart to say it. And I was just like, you know what? Um, I'm not going to be doing my weight loss channel anymore. I know people keep asking me, where are your weigh-ins? I miss your weigh-in Wednesdays. I miss this. I miss that. I'm not doing it. I just don't have the heart to do it anymore. And I just want to keep one channel. Um, so I really don't plan. And, and I, I could change. It could change. But in this moment, I don't have any plans to go back to that channel. Um, but losing weight and healing and this whole self-acceptance, healing, self-love journey that I'm on 
it's never ending and it's something that I need to share here as well so I figured I'd open up about that because I feel like I've been kind of closed off about that um but yeah no longer doing 75 soft it feels really good tomorrow I am not working out and it feels so good to be able to say that um because I'm just I'm working out Thursday I'm working out Friday I'm working out Saturday I'm not working out Sunday so I'm like I'm not working out tomorrow either but anyways I'll see you guys tomorrow and we will dye these eyebrows and I hope they come out good and I hope I do a good job Ugh. and I hope I do a good job so I'll see you guys then happy Wednesday so I woke up like this I'm like okay I understand losing one or two but like all of them girl I don't know how that happened but this is the update on the lashes <laughs> they made it these ones made it um because none of these fell off right I don't think so Saturday night Sunday night Monday night Tuesday night I mean that's still pretty good you know they used to only last like one or two nights on me so with this additional prep that I'm doing I feel like I feel like that's good but I still really I'm like was I like was I peeling them off last night like what was I doing I don't know I had found one when I woke up and then as I was making the bed I found the rest of them ooh, ooh. so yeah these are like three like almost clumped together four or five so yeah all of them so I'm just gonna go ahead these probably I was about to say these are probably gonna peel off like super easy yep 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 Ooh, that one that one kind of stuck I feel like with these ones you definitely need to make sure you're putting the glue on your lash but in addition to that that you're also like heavily putting the glue on these extensions and then I think you'll get better wear than what I did but I'm probably gonna go to Target today to see if I could find the refill of these ones and then put these ones on tonight i'm probably just gonna i'm not probably i am going to wear lash strip lashes today and we are going to i'm going to go to therapy so i have therapy today and then after therapy we're going to do our brows together so i'm not going to put makeup on yet because that would be pointless right yeah because i was going to do that i am going to go get this glue out of my eyebrows or out of my eyelashes though but i will see you guys when we do our brows together and hopefully those come out really 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 good i was looking at them this morning and i was like they actually look pretty i mean they're like thin but they don't look that bad i don't know i know i need to pluck and stuff but i'm gonna go give my my face a really good washing because you know at these you can't like really wash them like super well so super excited these were also really irritating too i wanted to also add that but anyways i will talk to y'all later or see y'all later when we do our brows okay so we are about to do our brows this is everything that comes in the little kit i got the color medium brown so you have your color base your color developer an instructional video an instructional manual whatever instructions I don't know what the hell this is I don't know I guess they're gloves and then you have a little brush so you can mix the color together what you're going to need to do your brows is a brow brush so like whatever you would use to like do your brows just practicing right now obviously there's nothing on there I'm also going to grab a spoolie so spoolie i get these i got these pink spoolies off of amazon i'll link them down below i'll also link this down below but you girl you can just go to target walmart whatever and then i have these little cotton pads wet because we're gonna need to like take the color off you know so i just have it all right there anyways we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna do my brows like i normally would i really need to go ahead and pluck these but whatever <laughs> We're not going to focus on that right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows like I normally do. And then this is your little mixing tray. So what you're supposed to do is take equal parts. You see how this is like, this is going to last forever because you only use a little bit and it closes back so you can 
um, you know, use it again. So, uh, that looks a little light. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, but you take equal parts of the color and the developer, like so. Looks about equal. A little bit more of the developer. And then I'm going to take this little brush, just mix them together. And you're supposed to leave this mixture on for five minutes in your brows. I'm going to do two minutes here, wipe it off, and then out here is going to be five minutes. So now I'm just going to take the color. I, I really do think this is going to be too light. Oh, hold on, that's maintenance. Hopefully it's okay that it's sat. Oh no. We're just going to go with it, okay? So just get it on your brush and just basically do it like you would do your brows. Girl, I really don't know how this is going to turn out, but <laughs> that's why I want the, there we go. Honestly, I put a lot of brow stuff on my skin. Set a timer for two minutes. So I went ahead and I set a timer for two minutes since I put color in that front part of my brow. Set a second timer for two minutes. Do you know what I realized that I did not do? I did not set a timer for five minutes for this brow. So I guess we'll just do five minutes right now. Set a third timer for five minutes. Voila, I will be back when we are gonna take this part off. Okay, so went off. You don't want this front part to get too much dye and too intense because of the fact that obviously it will look boxy and too intense. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do for this next one when the other when the next two minute timer goes off. Okay, it's looking a little crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe all of it off. The only thing for me is that I really need this to be on the skin and it just doesn't last on the skin. So I don't think that this is gonna be a thing that really is gonna help me much at all. I'm still definitely going to have to because I honestly already have dark brows. So I think for me, what do y'all think? I don't know. Maybe they look a little more full. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I know it's getting long. By the way, I just went ahead and I rinsed out the tray and the brush. So I'm just going to put this back in the little box and it's good to go for the next time I do it. So yeah, I can even put that in there actually even put this in there because I really don't use these brushes so that way I can have everything ready to go right there for me voila so yeah I will update y'all but I no they do they do they look good so yeah anyways I love you guys have an amazing day I'll see you in the next one bye guys